What's going on everybody? How you doing out there? And welcome back to another video. I went and saw Opeth and Mastodon and it was absolutely amazing. I had never seen Opeth before. I'm familiar with some of their material but not all of it. Um, and uh, I was just completely blown away how how uh, perfect they were, how uh, in sync and in time they were, uh, the amazingness of the, the whole kind of stage presence. That you, that's what you're looking at right here is the, the same view uh, that I saw. This is them, 2021. Uh, but my question was, what the hell happened to the drummer? Because when I was there, um, Michael Ackerfeld, he said this. He... The drummer left. It's going to be a bit uh, confusing for us this evening. Have you read the news? She does something, yeah. And what's crazy is this was the same kind of vibe at the show that I went to, man. Everyone is calm, cool, collected. There was no phone, hardly any phones up in the air. This guy filming this is probably one of ten that are in the audience. Everyone was standing there just taking it all in. It was pretty amazing. But we were basically, we didn't know if we were going to be able to do the tour until Sammy stepped in. Sammy. Horns up for Sammy. So, so the one thing that I was gonna that I wanted to say is I wanted to get into the story first, and then I wanted to watch the last song or half of the last song, uh, Deliverance that they did because the ending, you know, the whole thing was just a, a slow rise and a, a swell and a th th froth and a, and it was just entire. You just sunk into their their live show. It was absolutely fantastic. Next time I get a chance to go see Opeth, I will go see them again. It was so damn good, but I was just surprised by the politeness. There was no moshing. There was no uh, anyone climbing up on shoulders. There was no phones out. There was no nothing. It was just everyone just focused on the band. And he did an announcement just like that and said, well, we, it's going to be weird. We're going to be doing a lot of old classic stuff. And probably uh, this guy, I think he was in Therion, something like that. Um, he said, what can you do? And so they probably got a couple quick rehearsals in, and then here they go setting off for a 2020 one tour with Mastodon and uh, Zeal and Ardor. So um, I wanted to just read a bit of this and see if we could find out what happened. Opeth parts ways with drummer over conflicts of interest. However sad it's not uh, to not have Axe in the band anymore. I guess he's a longtime member, yes. We're not in a position to linger on anything that is going to hold us back. Michael Ackerfeld, very polite. He's taken questions. He would ch tune his guitar between each song, and people would just kind of shout things out, and he would answer them. Oh, yeah, yeah. There wasn't a whole lot of screaming and mayhem and, and everything else. You'd hear people say, Blackwater Park, every once in a while. But Opeth parted ways with drummer Martin Axenrot over a conflict of interest. According to the statement from the band, Opeth was recruited, has recruited drummer Sammy Karpinen, Therion, yeah, for their upcoming tour and wishes Axenrot all the best. Due to conflicts of interest, Martin Axenrot is not no longer in Opeth Collective. His replacement for the North American tour, Macedon and Zeal and Ardor, will be powerhouse drummer Sammy Karpinen. His first show will take place today, November 16th, at Harris Cherokee Center in Asheville, North Carolina. Um, is there anything that the, the other fella said? Uh, Mike uh, said Mike, uh, Michael Eckerfeld. However, sad it is not uh, is to not have acts in the band anymore. We're not in a position to linger on anything that is going to hold us back. We need to soldier on. Needless to say, we're incredibly thankful for Sammy is helping us out, making this tour possible at all. Uh, on top of that, he's quite outstandingly outstanding, really. Um, yeah, I'd love to know what what the the, the differences in that was. But let's watch this. Um, so so to get a bit of a reference, I had, a, I had a, a couple of beers there and a tequila shot at the show, and I was just kind of sunk right into the set. And uh, it was kind of, I mean, I hate to keep uh, harping on about Opeth, but it was very pleasurable. 
at my age, it was like, there's no bumping. There, there was people that stand in front of you and then they'd say, oh, pardon me, am I in your way? No, that's never happened to me in a million years. Not at, not at a single concert ever. And here I am standing there watching this band play and everyone's quiet and calm and cool and collected. And he's answering questions between songs and doing all this. I don't know if this is the regular Opeth show. I have watched one at Red Rocks and it was a bit more intense and put together and everything else, but it seemed like this was that this was that this was that kind of a show and I'd never seen them live and it just kind of blew my socks off but let's get into this because one of the most amazing parts to me was at the very end of the show so let's just get into this come on you damn spinning wheel spin forever and another great thing about it too was so look at them stars and stuff isn't that beautiful it's freaking beautiful this big fella over here, he was having a good time. And people are just politely clapping, right? Oh, there's a mosh pit. There wasn't one at the uh, show that I saw, but... I mean, imagine that on a couple tequila shots. It's like you were going through a vortex. You were leaving the galaxy. There's some phones in there, but not too shabby. Drummer's fantastic. Who would have ever known? The other thing I like about that too is it's a perfectly just it's 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 that that stage setup. It's it's just beautiful. You got the band there, you got the thing, and I, I'm pretty sure Mastodon used the exact same setup. I mean, they had the drums over here and the keys over here, but as far as the stage setup, they just used the same thing, right? And you're just mesmerized, man. I'm going, what the freak is going on? Is this Pink Floyd in 2021 or what? And Mastodon was nothing to, you know, they were fantastic too. I don't know what album this is from, but uh, they said they were going to be doing a lot of Blackwater Park that night, so. And that was some heavier stuff. He did some growling and, you know, gruffy vocals in that. I mean, you just got to be in the moment, right? Very intricate. Just all great players. Does anyone know that guitar playing guy's name? Let's see. And that Michael Ockerfeld, he just seems like a damn nice guy. He'd buy you, he'd buy you a bagel if he saw you on the street. I mean, he's that kind of a guy. He's a, he's, he's, he's damn nice. Just beautiful, just amazing. And so I'm sitting there and I'm feeling it. I got a half a glass of beer and I'm like, yeah. And what I was gonna say though, and maybe I maybe I was hammered, but when they hit that that logo popped up. Perfect, perfect timing. Right of that, Chipak. that logo popped up, the lights went out, and you're like, holy shit, there's Op the Opeth. It's like a, the ending credits to a damn movie right there. You didn't see, I think you, see, you saw that logo for just a few minutes when they were getting everything set up to go. Then you just got a, an amazing stage thing the whole time, and then the show, their end, show ends right there. Boom. And the guitars come off. Polite clapping. Thank you so much. 
avatar in the air. And there you go. There you have that. So what say you? I'd love all the Opeth fans out there to get down there and tell me uh, everything I need to know about this band. Because, man, that was a highly enjoyable concert. Now, I like the rough concerts. I like the moshing and everything else. But it is weird because you almost get a different kind of, uh, 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 God, I hate to say intellect. But people are calm and they're cool and they're collected and they're having fun and they're how you do. There was, I mean, shit, in the beer lines, people were like, oh, pardon me, were you here? That doesn't happen at an Exodus show. That happens at an Opeth show uh, and a Mastodon show because Mastodon headlined and they were absolutely fantastic too. And we'll have to get into something from them. But I'd love all the Opeth people to get out there and kind of uh, learn me. I'm learned, teach me uh, the ways of the Opeth and stuff. I have heard the Blackwater Park, some, most of that. And I do really enjoy that brand new album that they put out. Uh, where it's a lot more kind of uh, uh, instrumental, right? And he does he's, he's he's soft singing. He doesn't do a lot of growling anymore, right? Uh, you can correct me or you can uh, agree with me. Do whatever you like, but get in those comments below and tell me what you thought of that, okay? Opeth, baby, yes. Mm. 